Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yes, this is Black Ops 1. We got it today. Uh, hard, our, our new member, Hardcore Wolf 37. You can go check out his channel. Uh, he's, he's, uh, usernames are Foolish Six, his younger brother. He's, uh, he got it for us. Number and, six, Golden Wolf. And we're gonna be doing some Ascension. But the, uh, oh, the yeah. twist on this episode, this episode is called we pull this up The little? World Has Problems. Because it certainly does. It's gonna be does. a long one. It certainly does have problems. Yeah, and does. in this episode, we are gonna be talking about current problems, current events, and uh, a bunch of other crap. So, yep. it's it easy should to do be that. fun. But first of all, let's take a look at this map once again. Haven't seen this map in a while. Oh, it's in color, and then it goes into gray and black and white. All right. <laughs> Well, we're gonna uh, start off with the Pope. The Pope resigning. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Okay. Well, anyways, the Pope resigning. The Pope resigned. I'm not sure what the date was, um, but like the Pope. Last week. It was like last week. The Pope resigned, and he. I want to stop. By the way, the the Pope resigned, and that's that's something that hasn't happened since 1419. So it's really cool to have that happen because, you know, that's not something that happens every lifetime. Yeah. Obviously, because it hasn't happened since 1419. And, uh, you know, it's it's very cool to experience that. But uh, it's the first time since then, and apparently the Catholic community is now waiting for a new one. A new one. I don't know the whole story. So. I, I think they're going to... I, I'm not a Catholic, but I think they're going to uh, elect another Pope. And so that's, that's cool, it man. with that one. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, We're starting off with the ones we have less on. Also, I think it was either yesterday or today. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, uh, February 14th. February 14th. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Shout a out to all you Valentine's Meteor. <laughs> meteor hit Russia. Russia. I'm not sure how to say the name of the place. It starts with a C. Oh, I didn't see that. A bunch of all that crap. But if you saw it, <clears throat> oh man, that was bright. <laughs> yeah, we, we looked at the video videos on YouTube and it was bright. It, it, it broke the sound barrier and it... It, it, it like hit the ground, and when it broke the sound barrier, like Ooh. buildings nearby, like their their glass on their windows. Yeah, didn't you say it, it hit just, the sound barrier? And it, not bro it broke the, the sound. It broke the sound what barrier. What was the noise? I don't. I can't. Okay, the noise was a huge. Like it sounded like an explosion, and it yeah. and it hit. It didn't hit the ground yet. Hopefully, you guys know about this. But it. It broke the sound barrier, and when it breaks the sound barrier, it makes this huge boom. And when it made that huge boom, it, it exploded. Okay. And when it hit the ground, it was still making that boom. Because it was going so fast, and when it broke the sound barrier, it was already really close to the ground. So, yeah, that's that, and... Uh, that would be terrible. It's, it, it, it would be terrible for my ears for that Also, a asteroid... Was yeah, and then right asteroid. next to us, yeah. within seventeen thousand miles. Seventeen thousand miles, and you think, but wow, you know, it's it could wipe out us. You, you know, <laughs> so. you think, wow, that's a that's a lot of distance. You know, that's it's, not that much. It's not that much in the space, <laughs> and it literally just grazed. It, it really just barely missed us. I'm gonna open and up here. The uh, meteor, the uh, asteroid, uh, asteroid. Oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> the asteroid that Only 50 hit meters. Earth. That hit Earth and destroyed and killed the dinosaurs. Oh, that one! That one was five, five miles, miles wide. wide. And you know, we Lots looked this tons. up. We looked this up, and the one that passed us barely was fifty meters wide. So that's now, if you if nine. you go if you convert it into miles, one mile equals one thousand six hundred and nine meters. So that's I think we were pretty good on the extinction aspect. Mm -hmm. Because I believe we were not going to explode from a meteor that was probably a pebble compared to the dinosaur, the dinosaur extermination. extermination one. 
So. Anyways, uh, back to right. the next one. The next one, I believe, is that freaking meteor. Uh, Guys, let us know if you uh, if you saw it. I didn't see it personally, but we're gonna go ahead to the That's nuclear awesome. the nuclear test in North Korea. In North Korea, uh, you but, know. That's my vision terrifying. on this, my vision on this is we, you know, North Korea, they they didn't ever sign a peace treaty. They only signed a, they only signed a ceasefire yeah, with South Korea. So what I'm thinking is, is that if we don't, you know, we're, I don't say, I'm not saying put troops there, but what I'm saying is, like, keep should, a very close eye. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because... Exactly. If if they decide to launch nukes at South Korea, you know, it's going to... The world is basically just going to end because people are going to start shooting nukes all over the dang place. And, you know, if South Korea, if North Korea, the small little country there, was the one to start that and we could have stopped it in any way. Like, personally, I think we need to start looking into... Ways to blow up nukes in midair because that would be, that would be it would be interesting, <laughs> but it would also be very helpful because you know if for example you know well then other people can just get blown up if they don't have our technology. Well, what I'm saying about this is you know we use we don't use it just for ourselves. If someone if someone even throws a nuke up in the air, you blow it up. I don't care if it's a test. Ooh, I really okay. don't care. It shouldn't be happening. Um, Personally, I don't think the world the there's a place for nuclear weapons in the world. There really shouldn't yeah, be. But our U.S. United States of America. I'm sorry if you don't live here, but we spend more money on military uh, personnel than any 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 every country combined, like twice. Like, it's, I, uh, it's ridiculous. That. So, maybe we should be using a couple of those on uh, North Korea. You know. <laughs> a couple bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, personally, uh, the ec the economy can't really take much more spending. Well, maybe we should transfer it then. Well, yeah. Um, with this, I th they're, they're, they were doing nuclear tests underground, and the nuclear test set off a 4.9 uh, earthquake on the Richter scale. Really? Did yes, you know I did. And, Good see, you. yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, see, the thing is, oh God. you know, okay, I'll go back. China, China, when, when it happened, China only gave them a stern talking to. Like, kind of just like a, don't do that again. Like a mother. You know, just <laughs> just saying, don't do that again Great because analogy. if you do it, you know you'll have six thousand enemies. Dude, China's gonna take over. I I don't know, like with the China takeover thing, you know, it it could happen. And with, right now, they're holding us by the the gonads with <laughs> our own money because we owe them what trillions uh, of dollars. Yeah, Dude, we're in trouble. It's ridiculous. But, you know, to me, the uh, smaller countries, like North Korea, they could rise up, too. Like, I don't want that to happen, though. Can you call this uh, Lander? Yeah, I got it. Um, but anyways, China is going to but be a problem I think they that... They make everything. <laughs> yeah. They control our economy. I think that with... What if China just said, screw with this, U.S.? We'd be screwed. <laughs> with this, <laughs> with this uh, new nuclear bombs, you know, in North Wait. Korea, I believe you know the U.S. needs to step in, but doesn't. I don't think we need to send troops in like we did with Iraq. That's a little too much uh, to send in a whole army, our whole force to to do stuff like that, you know. I think we could send a couple nuclear people tests, in. Nuclear tests, though, you gotta, you gotta think if nuclear tests is gonna Just be... Just send in some spies. Like, come on. 
Send in some good advice. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and next on the list, we have... Oh, let me help you. Thanks. Uh-oh. Round six. Not bad, guys. <laughs> Our uh, highest round. Watch out. Oh, God. Uh, gun control or a crazy Californian officer? Let, let's do the crazy Californian officer. Okay, this crazy uh, Californian officer, as you might guess, uh, police officer, uh, wanted revenge on a couple of other police officers, and he freaking killed them and their families, which is not really messed not up. Not part of the uh, handbook. Uh, the <laughs> I don't believe the police handbook says kill all police officers and their families. If uh, so, I missed that part of the handbook. I wonder what the other police officers did to him. Because if you see the picture of him, he really he doesn't look too bad. But well, no, right now uh, the we know what we we know what happened right now, and uh, so right now well, we don't know entirely what happened. Why? Like, uh, <laughs> uh, he like burned the. The place down well, no, he he uh, was he was hiding, and uh, the, they finally found him in a cabin in the woods. Oh, you probably saw this on the news; he was all over the news. Um, they found him in the woods, and they had a gunfight. He tried to go out the back door, and as he went out the back door, a police officer shot him three times in the stomach and the back. And uh, he he went back inside the house. Did he shoot himself? No, uh, no, somebody else shot him in the back and stuff. He was still alive, and then out of nowhere, I don't know how. Is he still alive? No. Okay. Out of nowhere, I don't know how, but the house caught on fire. And it burnt him to death, and they, uh, they found a body. I don't know everything about this. They found a body that they believed to be him. I just know. And so they proved it, I think it was either today or yesterday, that it was indeed him. So, uh, another crazy psychopath is... But it out just, of the out of the world. It just goes to show you you can't trust anyone. Like we were watching Hardcore Pawn this morning. You want to tell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watching uh, Hardcore Pawn this morning before dude, we. Uh, my favorite character, pretty much. Well, not favorite, but anymore at least. Uh, the the security he was such guard a nice Joe. guy on Hardcore Pawn. If you haven't seen it, it's a show about like pawning stuff, selling stuff to people. You know, and, old uh, antiques and stuff. And they got security guards because there's a lot of a uh, lot of problems. And security guard leader Joe was not securing himself. Like he was <laughs> stealing jewelry from his bosses with the cameras on. Yeah, like which is idiotic. Uh, you want to get Juggernaut gifts? Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm gonna go get some Juggernaut. But anyways, I think uh, I think that I think we can trust. Anyone. Yeah, I. Oh God. <laughs> but with this police officer, I it was, it was just kind of it was kind kind of sad. I don't know what happened with uh, you know the personal stuff that made him do this. But I just I'm wondering what drove this man who was a man of the law. I'm not sure if he like what? was a bad cop. How did but, he get hired? Well, no, he wasn't that bad of a cop before, probably. But yeah, when this happened, you know. Need better background checks. <laughs> but maybe he didn't have a record before. Maybe he just got it right then. Maybe they should check how evil he is. <laughs> uh, Maximum ammunition. Anyways, there is one thing that bothers me, though, about this cop thing is that, you know, the cops that he killed were his friends. You know, he worked with them. It wasn't like he just went to a different state and killed a bunch of cops. He killed his friends, his co-workers. I don't know what the, I don't know what the what news they happened. I have no clue what happened. I and what, what drove did. this guy to just murder his friends and fam- his friends' family. All I know is that crap went down. Crap went down. And, you know... That was that, and they found him dead in the uh, fire. 